next thing we'll see is first we have seen application properties and the application properties how to access it and inject the values from application properties to the variables and how to inject values of application properties to the bean itself now we are left with two things one is profiling and another is dynamic profiling let us see what is profiling and what are all the uses of profiling consider you have a you have a web server and you have a microservice with the application properties embedded as you can see application properties and the application is embedded within one my application jar my application dot jar for example if you want to have logging level trace in dev environment what you have to do you have to play update the application properties with the logging level trace and deploy it to dev server consider you want to have logging level info in the sit environment then what you have to do again you have to update your my app dot jar with application properties which contains logging level info and again if you want to deploy the same application to production then you have to update the jar with you have to update the application properties with logging level debugging so basically you will have three different jars for three different environments this is not correct actually you should have single jar to deploy it to three different environments so that we can make sure the jar is consistent and it will not break in different environments so to do that what they have done is so we have one myapp.jar so we can create three different application properties inside this myapp.jar so that when you are deploying it to dev server what you can do is you can set the active profile what i mean is you can say application dot properties should be active when you are deploying it to dev server when you are deploying it to sit then you can say that application hyphen test properties should be active when you are deploying your application to the sit environment same way when you are when you are deploying your application to the production environment you can say that application hyphen prod dot properties should be the default one should be loaded when you are deploying your application to the production environment so that it will reduce our complications which means all the environment will be having same jar with a different application properties loaded okay so let us see how to do this okay so we'll create three different uh, application properties one is for default profile which means one is for development environment and another is for testing which is a site environment and another is for production environment okay let us go ahead and copy this application properties so note that the syntax is application hyphen you have to mention this hyphen so that the spring container will know after that hyphen whichever the name is there that is a profile name okay i'll just say sit okay and we'll create another application properties with prod i'll say okay i'll just update these application properties so that we'll get to know which one is loading in which environment so basically i'll, I'll not be updating these values so i'll be updating instead of updated i'll just change it to dev hyphen everywhere i'll just put it probably i'll do the same for this this we have decided to use in production environment so what i'll do is i just change it to prod hyphen prod and here we decided to use sit so so we have updated each application properties to the respective environment so application properties is consider we have considered this as dev environment application hyphen prod we have considered this as production environment application hyphen sit as sit environment so we have single application with three different application properties now this application properties is kind of a parent so what do you what i what do i mean by parent see what i'll do i'll say i'll create one more variable inside this private i'll add one more variables saying private string common message okay i'll just say this i'll have a set on getter say thank you message 
let's change it to thank you message i'll just switch over on this let's stay source create data sensors okay i have thank you message now i will add this here my dot thank you message is equal to thank you for visiting ah, sorry that should not be the case my dot thank you message so what i'll do i'll use this same thank you message in our application deploy to dev environment plus i'll say okay so currently what i have done is i've created my thank you message and i'm saying thank you for visiting note that this my thank you message i'm not adding it to application hyphen production dot properties or application application hyphen hyphen sat dot properties so basically what i'm saying is what i'm trying to say is if you don't mention or if you don't override any values inside the application properties then it will take default message so basically this is kind of a parent this are kind of a child if you don't override any values inside this then it will take the default value from the application properties we'll see how it works so what i'll do now we are done with the values now if i save this consider i'll save this i am not i have not set any active profile set if you can see no active profile set falling back to default profile when it says default profile it is taking values from the application properties if you just go and refresh this say it says dev hyphen dev hyphen and the rest of things and it says thank you for visiting okay so how to set the value i mean how to set the default application properties for your applications so there are two ways you can set the values so we'll go back to slide there are two ways you can set the values you can have the value in your default application properties itself saying spring dot profiles dot active is equal to whatever the profile you want to make it active or if you are running from the command line you can use this mvn spring boot hyphen run and spring boot run profile is equal to test or production or whatever you can do it so uh, let us go ahead and see the first one i'm not going to do it for the second one you can try it out so what i'll do uh, i'll mention this spring dot profiles dot active is equal to which one as of now i have not mentioned anything here so that is why it is taking as no active profile set falling back to default profile when it says default pro profile it is application properties okay i just in the application properties itself you have to set let me clear the console and save it so as you can see here the following profiles are active which is sit so basically you are saying while loading you take the sit application dot sit dot properties as the default property set so if you go there we have the set of properties we have mentioned we'll just go and refresh as you can see it says sit okay so one more thing i wanted to show is this thank you for visiting okay this is coming from the default profile as you can see here we have not mentioned it anywhere so if you have not overrided anything it will take from the default profile okay fine now we have set the value in the value as sit i'll change it to prod again remember prod is a name which we have given here hyphen prod okay so I'll just clear the console again same routine i'll just save it as you can see here it says the following profiles are active which is prod before it was sit i'll just refresh it it says prod okay as you can see thank you for visiting is from the default profile so as i had mentioned earlier you can have logging info or server different port you can mention and different environment like production different port sit different port and logging information on the data source anything if you want to that specific environment you can mention in that specific profiles if you want to if you want all the environment to have a same properties then what you can do is 
you can add it in default profile which is application dot properties so basically i had uh, shown you i have shown you how to do it from application properties you can do it from i'll just stop the server i'll show the command prompt as well so you can i'll just copy the command prompt probably i'm not yeah so I'll just minimize this so i had shown you earlier it was production let us switch back to SIT environment so I'll see what are all the values you have so we are using application as spring boot profiling example just CD spring boot spring boot CD spring boot not not boot. profiling example so let's say sorry dir as you can see we have a lot of things so we'll just paste the one which we have uh, instead of test i'll say sit so now our application runs with sit environment and as you can see the following profiles are active sit we had seen production environment i'll say refresh it says sit so this is how you can achieve using command prompt okay I'll just stop the server I'll just exit so now we have seen profiling in different environments we'll see what's next so now we are done with the profiling using application properties dynamic profiling what we can do is consider we'll create one uh, beam and uh, one is for production one is for sit and one is for the dev environment and what we'll do we'll mark it as at the rate component this is as, as usual and we'll say load this particular beam when the active profile is production okay when the active profile is prod okay so uh, we'll see how to do that we'll go back to the code what we'll do we'll create three beans which is dev bean and we have to mark it with at the rate component so that spring container will pick this up while booting and i'll say at the rate as i mentioned earlier profile okay it should be the default i can mention the default is itself default profile and we'll create another bean called sit bean and we'll create one bean for production prod bean something like this so uh, we have created three different beans for three different environments now question is how to load these with respect to the active profile set consider we have default and this is sit and this should be prod okay so uh, what this basically does is when you mark it with add profile consider you are deploying your application into the dev environment so i'll just remove this now it is a default profile now the spring up spring will load this application dot properties we'll see how it works i'll just click on save so as you can see here so it says no active profile set falling back to default profiles which is default as you can see the bean which is loaded is dev bean as we have mentioned that when there is a default profile when the default profile is active then you load this bean in the same way i'll just change this to sit okay so basically when i change the active set to sit it should load this sit bean and it should print this okay let's clear the console and click on save so when you save it ah, something is missing because the active it should not be capital because we had given small letters here sit it is loading sit uh, let us see how it works something i'm missing 
yeah uh, as you can see the following profiles are active and the sit bean is it included and when i say prod and i just clear the console save then it loads the production bean okay okay consider uh, you want to have uh, i'll change it to sit consider scenario you want to have the same bean which is default bean to be loaded if the profile set is if the profile active profile is sit so then what we can do is we'll just delete this sit bean okay so now we have deleted the sit bean and we have not marked with that the profile for the sit bean only we have production bean and dev bean which is default bean so if i save what should happen is as we have mentioned sit environment and we don't have sit bean here it should pick up the default bean which is dev bean let us save it as you can see the following profiles are set which is production something is missing sorry yeah this is the latest one the following is set which is sit active and the default yep i was wrong so it won't pick up the default bean probably you can do this let us see sit here so let me save this let us clear this console to make sure everything is fine as you can see profile set active is sit and the dev bean is getting loaded okay so another thing what you can do is you can have a negation in this as well so consider if you want to load this particular dev bean apart from the production what you can do is you can do like this i'll say if it is not production it is not prod then load it basically which is saying if it is sit or dev environment you just load this let's see i have removed the active profile i'll just save this so when i say application properties it reloads again if you can see here the no active profile set setting back to default profile so if i change this to sit then also it should load now i've changed it to sit the following profiles are set then the dev bean also getting loaded we have seen this dev bean was loading before as well if you change it to prod then the production bean should load okay now the production bean is getting loaded so this is the negation so now we are done with the profiling and so the thing is uh, one thing you have to remember is this application properties is embedded inside the jar so that every time you change the application properties you have to restart the server so to avoid this we can have this application properties outside our jar and we, while restarting while starting the application you can you can say that this is the location of the application properties you go and pick it up so whenever you change next application properties you need not have to restart the application we'll see all those things in subsequent tutorials as of now that's it for the scope so if you like my explanation if you like this video please subscribe share and like this video thank you